What's worse, having your entire family disown you for being a gigantic piece of shit, having a man shoot you because you seduced him and stole all his money, or marrying a man that you can't stand just because he's rich? Well, the Mexican telenovela Teresa allows you to enjoy all three situations because it doubles up as a choose-your-own-adventure story. That's right, since one dumpster fire of an ending isn't enough, Teresa gives you all three. And why is that? Well, because telenovelas are hell. Teresa tells the story of a sexy teenager who's in her mid-30s. Teresa's dream is to be so rich that every time she farts, a $100 bill comes out. And she's willing to use her good looks and big tetas to get there. The telenovela starts with Teresa giving her adorable family the stink eye for throwing her a graduation party where instead of serving caviar and champagne like she wanted, they served ceviche and piss. Teresa is so ashamed of being poor that she lied to everyone at school by telling them that her parents are millionaires. Unfortunately, the class bitch finds out that this isn't true and humiliates her in front of the whole school by revealing that Teresa is the daughter of a laundry worker and a mechanic. This, for Teresa, is more embarrassing than pooping her pants on the first day of school. Just when Teresa thinks her garbage life couldn't get any garbage year, her little sister gets hit in the face with a baton while doing a gymnastics routine. And since her parents aren't able to afford the medical treatment to fix her face, she dies. Teresa has had it up to here with being poor, so she decides that her new goal in life will be to use men for their money. The first thing she does is dump her cute taxi driver boyfriend despite being madly in love with him. She then puts on a low-cut dress and visits her old teacher, Arturo, asking him for help. Arturo takes one look at her and says, Teresa, I love your gigantic hunger for learning. I'll give you anything you ask for. Even though she looks like she's going to barf every time he kisses her, Teresa marries Arturo. Sure, she's still in love with her ex and cries herself to bed every night, but at least she gets to live in a house with stairs. She gets to have maids that she can treat like crap, and she gets to spend her days maxing out her husband's credit cards. Teresa encounters her first roadblock when she finds out that her taxi driver ex has become a successful doctor overnight and makes more money than her current husband. So she starts dating him again, despite the fact that she's married. When the two dudes catch on to what she's doing, they dump her. And of course, she freaks out at the thought of being alone. But instead of going to therapy like a decent human, Teresa tries to patch things up with Arturo by visiting him late at night, naked and sweaty, and asking him to read her a bedtime story. Arturo falls for her again because he's an idiot, and also because she's hot. He rewards her for cheating by taking her on a European vacation where the two of them make out a whole bunch and point at everything they see. All of this pointing actually causes Teresa to develop strong feelings for Arturo. Unfortunately, the strong feelings quickly fade when they return from the trip and Teresa finds out that he's gone broke. <gasps> to make matters worse, Teresa gets accidentally shot by a crazy lady and almost dies. Being paralyzed from the waist down won't stop Teresa from finding another man with money. And being the snake that she is, Teresa seduces her best friend's fiance by asking him to give her a creepy massage while she's still hospitalized. When released from the hospital, she convinces her new hunk to dump her best friend and hand off all his fortune to her. The instant he gives her the check, she tells him he's ugly and breaks up with him. Now Teresa is on top of the world because she's rich and she doesn't need a man to take care of her anymore. Sadly though, Teresa's father gets word of the absolute turd of a human his daughter has become and dies of a heart attack. Teresa tries to buy her family's love back with gifts, but they're so fed up with her shit that they disown her and pretend like she doesn't exist. Teresa goes insane and weeps over her father's grave because she realizes she's got no one left in the world. She then goes to donate all her money to charity. The telenovela ends with Teresa crying and dragging herself across the ground while screaming, I'm all alone! I'm all alone! Just kidding! This is just one of the ways in which it ends. Teresa has three alternate endings. In the first ending, Arturo takes her back and they resume their loveless marriage. In the second ending, 
Teresa is left to rebuild her life, which she does by getting an entry-level job and seducing her new boss by showing a little titty. And in the third, and probably the best outcome for Teresa, she gets shot and killed. The end. <laughs>